Namaste guys, Ashish here for Namaste Tech. We have got Honor 7X with us. And in this video, I'm going to tell you how to lock your apps in Honor 7X using pattern, pin, or using the fingerprint sensor, which is in the rear of the phone. It's pretty straightforward. And the best part of using Honor 7X with EMUI 5.1 is that the feature is inbuilt into the phone. You really don't have to install a third party app like AppLock and other things, and it works. Now what you're going to do is look for an app called as Phone Manager. It basically has a lot of features. So just swipe down the best way to search any app, find the Phone Manager, tap on it and launch it. It basically optimizes your systems and does a lot of stuff, but we're not interested. Look for App Lock. Tap on it. Now the first time you configure it, it'll ask you for a password protection. This password is going to be different from your lock app. So just put it something which is very secret. Put it there and here you have a list of apps. I'm going to select the Elixir app here to test. Just turn it on, turn any of them on and you're done. Let's take a look at the configuration here. So you've got option to change password, turn on the app lock, that's how it works. And there is one thing you should know that, you know, this is called a change password protection. In case you forget your pin or pattern or the fingerprint sensor is not working, make sure to set up the change password protection option. Simple question answer, just set it up in case you can't find or remember your pin or pattern, this is going to be really, really handy. Done this, I'm going to launch the Alexa app again, searching the same way. I'm going to launch the Amazon Alexa app and it should ask me for a pin, which I've configured. I'm going to just enter that and there you go. It launches there. Now, one thing you should know is uh, when you go for multitasking or stuff like that, it doesn't ask you for password again. So till the phone is unlocked, till you're using it, it doesn't ask for the pin here at all. Even if you close the app and you launch it, it still doesn't ask because it, it's kind of session and there is no other option to disable this. Some of the Xiaomi phones had this option, but it doesn't have that option. So what I'm going to do now here is lock my phone, unlock it and see if it asks for a password. So lock it, unlock it using the pin. I don't have a pin for the screen, but when I come back here, it asks me for a password. So this is how it's going to work. It will work the same way on the fingerprint sensor as well. Now let's move on and see how you can use the fingerprint sensor to lock and unlock your apps. So again, we'll go to settings. and look for fingerprint in the search. Again, the best way to find any setting. So look for fingerprint management and you need to go inside fingerprint management again. And here you see there's a new pin. Now that's this pin is basically for your phone lock. So pin or password, whatever you want, you can select it, pin or pattern. This is different from what was the app lock. So keep it different, that's the best way. But if you can't remember, keep them same. So let's set it up. Now that done, you have a couple of options here. You can unlock the screen, you have got access safe, then you have got lock the applications down. So I'm going to just tap on this and turn it on. Now since I don't have any fingerprint configuration done before, it'll ask me to set up my fingerprint because I want to use the fingerprint sensor. The process is pretty fast. You just touch it on the rear, whatever finger you're comfortable with. It just adds it up, ask for the password again, just confirm it. Now that done, you will see that, you know, the unlock screen and the app control both are turned on. Now I'm going to lock and unlock because the session was not complete. So now I'm going to launch the Alexa app again. It should ask me for a password or a fingerprint sensor that you can see here. So just tap in the rear and it should unlock it. It works the same way as it was working with the pattern and the pin. So you know, if I come back again, it doesn't ask me for any fingerprint check here. But if I lock my phone, unlock it and come back here and again launch the Alexa app, it'll ask me for the fingerprint or the pin. This was well implemented in the Xiaomi phones, which hides the content. So guys, thanks for watching the video. Do like the video, do subscribe to our channel. We are coming with more on 7X features and videos.